no cap i'm not even lying to y'all we have like no clubs back to my channel and today i am finally going to give you guys the truth about farmingdale state college i know that when it was around this time i was looking for schools to be committing to and i was like looking at farmingdale and there was not a lot of videos about farmingdale so first i'm going to talk about the actual campus so the sizing i would say it's kind of like a medium-sized campus it's not like university of florida where you have to walk 50 minutes to the other side of campus to get to your class. So there is 10,000 students at that school, but when you're like really walking, it doesn't even feel like 10,000 students. Don't worry about getting lost. Obviously on your first day, you're gonna be lost or like when you're touring, you're gonna be like, this campus is big. But once you, after like the first week of school, you really got it. It's also in a good location. So that's what I could say about the campus. Cause I know some schools, some schools really like be in the middle of nowhere. It is right off of 110. So if you guys don't know what 110 is, 110 is a very important highway to us because obviously that's how we get from town to town. If you take that road down, it could take you all the way through like 10 different towns, like literally. So there's Target, there's Chick-fil-A, there's Wendy's, there's Taco Bell. You got Chipotle down the block. Furthermore, there's Walmart. There's literally a lot. And we don't really have that many buildings. Like basically, you kind of know your buildings. Like Hale is for the lab. Lupton is for like engineering and the science classes. Literally, there's only like 10 main buildings like you don't have to worry about oh my god there's 30 buildings you know it's not that many buildings and like most of your classes are literally like in the same building so like gleason gleason is like basically gonna be the building that everybody's gonna know if you ever go to that campus gleason is where i basically had half of my classes at because that is just a general building for so now i'm going to talk about the classes i'm going to talk about the teachers like most of the teachers that i had love their job like they take their job there like very serious like my sociology teacher math teacher my history teacher they all took that class very serious like the only teacher i can really say who did not take it serious was my english teacher and because I think it's because it's English. Most of my teachers just basically made everything feel like comfortable, made you feel welcomed, you know, and they were passionate about what they're teaching. When it comes to picking your classes, you have to be on it. Literally all the good teachers, they only teach like two classes. And also what is so annoying is that that school doesn't put the teachers on the schedule for math, science, English, and history. All the other subjects like sociology, and computer science and all that they have the teachers up there but like for your main classes they don't have the teachers there but for other schools i know they do the same thing as well because they only do that because they don't want certain teachers not getting picked because everybody's looking at rate my professor but that's another tip use rate my professor because you don't want to be paying 800 dollars for a class and the professor is giving you a hard time you're doing really bad and then you get a d in the class that's all I'm going to say. Let's talk about dorming. So there's two residential halls on that campus. It is called Dewey Hall and Orchard Hall. So basically Dewey is basically where like the freshman building, I think sophomores and stuff do stay there. Orchard Hall is basically like the nice living complex. So basically it's a quad and it's like, it's really nice, like really nice. So basically most of the people that's in Orchard is sophomore and up and athlete so i know i wasn't there that long to give you guys like the other aspects of dorming but i can give you guys some tips because i did dorm for three days so that is enough to enough details to give y'all some the rundown i'm gonna say is a commuter school so yes we do have residential buildings but it's considered a commuter school so the only thing about those two is that doing the bathroom does get cleaned by the custodial staff, so you don't have to worry about washing the shower, wash, washing the toilet, like, you know, cleaning anything. Versus when you're staying in Orchard, that's your bathroom. So you signed up to live with other people and share a bathroom and have your own bathroom. So yes, you don't have to worry about showering with other people and peeing where everybody else can watch you and hear you pee and stuff. But you do have to clean your own bathroom. So if you don't like cleaning and you it ain't for you. It was nice though because it felt like I was at home. Versus if I had to stay in Dewey, I would have probably been miserable as hell. Two different types of eating options. One is specifically for residential people and then the other is for people that is commuting. So, I can't get into the residential part but I can get into the commuter part. So, basically the commuter part, we actually have, I feel like, more options than the people who 
reside there. There's a Starbucks there. There's a Japanese place. There's a like a mini deli there so you can buy chips and stuff. There's like a it's basically like a, a bootleg tropical smoothie but they sell smoothies, wraps, and salads. And there's like two more things. There's like a um the boars, like you know when you get sandwiches and stuff. And there's one more section. And the reason I'm not really good with it because I really don't eat food on campus. Because as I told you guys before, I we, like me and my friends, we go to 110 for everything. So next I'm going to talk about like the social life. So I'm going to talk about clubs. I'm going to talk about the activities, the diversity, everything. So basically, if you're an introvert, like basically it's not that hard to make friends. But I think my problem was like basically if I just got went away to school and I got thrown onto a campus, then I would have been forced to meet other people. But being that... It's mostly a commuter school and a lot of people's commuting. A lot of people don't want to take the time to have a social life. So a lot of people go to that campus just to go to class, get their work done, and go home. So a lot of people do not partake on on-campus activities. And that is the reason why Farmingdale is not really that big on social stuff. But then they realize like everything's off campus. So you might as well stay home. Like why pay $13,000? Thinking, you know, you're gonna have the on-campus experience when everything you gotta do is off-campus. The clubs, there's not that many clubs there. So I know me and my friend, we tried to find a lot of clubs to do. And there was not much there for us. Like, basically, what we was into. So they only had, like, a business club, nursing club, medical lab, engineering club, art club, theater arts club. A lot of clubs were discontinued because a lot of students try to build up clubs and then it gets discontinued because there's not enough people staying within that club but make sure you're sure you do your research before you go because if you're looking for specific things such as a debate club we don't got that there but say if you're looking for a specific club then you want to go to campus that has what you're looking for so that's what i kind of regret about why i chose farm though because there's not that many clubs that i'm specifically interested in if you're interested in what i said before then go ahead shoot your shot and go with it but nothing that i was really interested in so you have to go and farm those state club activities and like actually look and see the clubs that they have and then what i was doing when i was choosing schools was i was going on instagram and i was typing in farm Hill state college and then like the clubs that they had to see if they were really active and like i said before farmingdale is like it's still a good school but it's currently in the process of building its foundation so say for example if you go to stony brook stony brook's been there it's just been like they had their foundation for clubs and activities already so it's like kind of set versus farmingdale students are trying to make clubs students are trying to get people to join clubs they're trying to have this foundation set that's not theirs and the sororities one of my friends is in one kaylin but I forgot the name of hers. She loved her sorority. We do have more sororities than fraternities. It's like five sororities if I'm not mistaken. And if you're looking for like plenty of options, choose a different school. Choose a different school. Like if you want to just go and get your degree, then farm is perfect for you. But if you're looking for like a big social life and like aspect, then not really. My social life wasn't bad because I walked in with a group of people. Honestly, like I made the best of my experience so I did try joining clubs I've been to club meetings I've been to some activities so it's not like I was anti-social and I didn't join anything you know that video that I did my my college update I was only in school for like two three months so whatever I said in that video disregard any of that honestly I just feel like school is what you make it you have to actually get out there and try so Life talk 